Are you looking to automate tasks between your Google Sheets database and other third-party tools? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly that, how you can simply set up automations in Make.com between Google Sheets and other apps and tools to streamline processes and design your custom workflows. If this sounds interesting to you, then stick around and I'll cover the exact steps in this tutorial. All right, with that covered, let's go ahead and dive into this Make.com tutorial. Okay, so to get started with Make, simply head over to your browser and type in make.com or feel free to click on the link in the description below this video and that's going to take you here. Then simply navigate over to get started for free. It only takes a few moments and then you'll be taken inside your account. I've already gone ahead and created a fresh account, so I'll meet you inside. Okay, so here I am inside a free Make account. Now, before we get started, what exactly is Make.com? Well, if you're completely new to Make, essentially it's an all-in-one automation tool, allowing you to set up and create workflows and automations between different tools. Essentially, Make allows you to automate many online manual processes. This is by connecting all your different tools together. Okay, so let's quickly understand our account. If we navigate over to Credits Left, within the free plan, you get 1,000 credits for free each month. Think about one credit as one operation or one trigger. Basically, when an operation runs inside a scenario, you get charged a credit. And then over here, you can see your active scenarios. Think about scenarios as your workflows. These are the different automations, the different workflows that you've set up. And inside Make, these are called scenarios. You get two within the free plan. Okay, so before we create a scenario from scratch, by connecting Google Sheets and other third-party tools, let's take a look at some examples inside of templates. Here we can view and navigate through some of these scenario templates. And we can search for specific automations or scenarios based on the apps that we want to connect. For example, let's type in Google Sheets and click here. And you can see these different Google Sheets automations. And again, these templates, these automations are standalone scenarios. So to keep things simple, we'll stick to the wording scenario. Let's take a look at some of these scenarios for Google Sheets. Save Telegram messages to a Google Sheets spreadsheet. Create Canva designs with data from Google Sheets and upload to Google Drive. You can see we have basic automations like these two. Add new incoming emails to a Google Sheets spreadsheet as a new row. And then we have more advanced automations down here. Take your time to go through these. Okay, let's navigate back over to Organization and that will take us back to our dashboard. Now let's go ahead and create a new fresh scenario. Navigate down and click on build from scratch. Let's close out of these resources. And for the purpose of today's example, we're gonna create a workflow that connects Google Forms to Google Sheets, as well as Gmail and Slack. Essentially, we're going to use Google Forms to capture new projects. These are client projects. Then the data captured from Google Forms is going to be sent to Google Sheets. In this example, my Google Sheets CRM template. Then within this workflow, we're going to automatically send an email from Gmail that says thank you and provides information about our process when it comes to new projects. Following this, within this workflow, we want to send a Slack notification to a channel inside of Slack. This is going to notify our team that a new project has been received and our team can start working on that project. So those are the four tools that I wanna connect in this scenario to to create my workflow to create this automation. Now, even if your workflow is different in terms of the automations that you want to set up, as well as the apps that you want to connect together, you can still follow along with this make tutorial as this will give you a good idea of how to connect your different apps together. Okay, so with our new scenario, what we first want to do is connect our first module. In our case, we want to connect Google Forms. Simply type in the app you're after. Here we have Google Forms, and here we can search for the specific module that we're after. And for the purpose of our automation, we want to watch responses, triggers when a new response is received. So for us, that's a new project submission. Click here. Then here we need to create the connection. Before we do that, let me show you what my Google form looks like. And here's the form that I want to connect. Sheetify new project form, Sheetify projects, and you can see the details I want to collect. Email, phone number, project name, contact name, project type, and project description. Create the form the way that you like, and again, you can capture any information that you need. Okay, let's jump back inside our make scenario and click on create a connection. Here, I need to first sign in with Google. I'm going to quickly do that now. Once you've connected your Google account, you'll be taken back here. Now we need to connect the form ID. You can search for the form ID, or you can simply copy and paste and add the form ID here. To reduce any chances of error, I suggest copying and pasting the form ID in here. To do that, let's jump back over to our Google form. 
then jump into the form URL and copy this ID. Command C, then jump back into make and paste that ID here. Then navigate down to limit. Now, because this is just an example, I'm going to add five. Now, this is the number of results that will be pulled during one execution cycle. If we navigate down here, by default, the execution cycle is every 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes, this scenario will pull up to five results. You can play around with this and increase or decrease this if you like. For now, let's go ahead and click on save. Choose where to start from now on and click on save. Now to save any changes, simply navigate down here and click on save and your scenario will be saved. Now let's test the connection between Make and Google Forms to ensure everything is set up correctly. I'm going to jump over to the Google Form that I connected and fill out the form. Okay, so here I am inside the new projects capture form. I've quickly added dummy data. So let's come down and click on submit. And just like that, the response has been recorded. Now let's head back over to Make and then click on run once. And just like that, we've successfully run a test operation. You can see under summary, we've used one operation, which is equivalent to one credit used. And then you can check out the data down here. Okay, so we now know that this connection is working. Now we want to connect our Google Sheets template. To do that, navigate down here, click on add another module. And in here, you can see we have Google Sheets already. If you can't see your app here, simply navigate down the bottom and search for the app or module. I'm going to select Google Sheets. And within the Google Sheets connection, we have all these different modules that we can set up. Clear a row, delete a row, bulk update rows, update a row, and the most popular, add a row. This is what we want to do. We want to add a new row, click here, then choose an account. I've already connected my Google account, so I'm going to select the Google account here that owns the Google Sheet, then click on continue. You may be asked to reconnect your Google account, then you'll be taken back here. Then navigate down to search method. I'm going to select, select from all, and then we want to add the spreadsheet ID. What I'm going to do is jump into my Google Sheets template that I want to connect. And here we are inside my CRM Google Sheets template. Now this is a Google Sheets CRM template or toolkit that we sell to small businesses. If you're interested in learning more about all our Google Sheets business toolkits, I will add the relevant information down below in the description. Okay, so if I navigate down to this new tab that I created, inside this Google Sheets file, you can see that I want to collect the project name, contact name, email, phone, type, and description. This is the data coming from Google Forms. Then over here, under the green, this is for internal use only. Okay, so what we're gonna do is copy the URL, the ID up here. So between these two dashes, copy this, Command C, and then jump back inside of Make. Then paste in the spreadsheet ID here. Navigate down to Sheet Name, and that's gonna generate all the different sheet names. I'm going to select New Projects, and then down here, does your table contain headers? Yes, my table does contain headers, as I just showed you, so keep that set as yes, and then navigate down to Values. Here we need to map the data between Google Forms and Google Sheets. So these are all the header names inside my Google Sheets template. We need to map these headers, these rows, inside our Google Sheets template with the data coming from Google Forms. So let's go ahead and do that. First, let's map project name. Here we have answers. Navigate down to project name, open this up, and again, text answers, and then we have answer, and then we have value over here. Remember, we added a test submission before, and you can see that data here. Okay, so what we're going to do is simply click here, and that's gonna map the data here. Okay, so we've mapped project name, with the answers coming from the project name inside of Google Forms. Now let's do the same with contact name. Under answers, if we navigate down here, we have contact name, click here, expand text answers, answers, and again, we have the value here. Example, Sam, which is the previous test name that we added to the Google Form when we tested the connection between mate.com. Okay, let's click here. And again, we wanna do the same with each of these different values. Let's go ahead and connect email, respondents email. Then we have phone over here. Let's connect phone, text answers, and then answer and the value over here. Let's navigate down to type, then locate project type, expand text answers, answers, and we have the value here. Then description, navigate over to project description, expand answers, and answer down here, and then we have the value. So remember, you're looking for the value within Google Forms to match with the headers inside of Google Sheets. And then if we navigate down here, and then I'm going to leave these blank, I've successfully mapped all the data that I want to collect. What we can do is close out of this and navigate down to Save. Let's come down and click on Save, and the scenario was saved. Now let's test out this connection. Jump into Google Forms again, 
Hey guys, just quickly, did you know that over 90% of you that enjoy our free educational content have not yet subscribed? It would mean a lot to me if you drop a comment or hit subscribe if you love what I'm creating. This helps us grow the channel and motivates me to create bigger and more impactful tutorials for you to consume for free. Okay, so with that happy note, thank you in advance, and let's get back to the video. Okay, so back inside the connected Google form, I've gone ahead and quickly added a new response. Let's come down and click on submit. And just like that, the response has been recorded. Now jump back inside make and come down and click on run once. And that's going to trigger the operation. Let's navigate up here and you can see the operation was successful. This cost one credit. Let's close out of this and jump inside our Google Sheets template. And you can see the new row with the data coming from Google Forms has been added up here successfully. Okay, let's jump back inside make and congratulations, just like that, we've set up our first simple automation between Google Forms and Google Sheets. Now what I wanna do is connect Gmail. That will send a new email when a form has been submitted. And that's going to send the email to the form recipient saying thank you and other details about our project workflow. Okay, so to do that, what we're gonna do is simply click here to add another module. Again, we just want to select the app that we want to connect to this scenario. I'm going to navigate down here and type in Gmail. And here's the module I want to use, send an email. Then we need to create a connection. Navigate down to sign in with Google and navigate through that process. And just like that, my Gmail is now connected. You can see the module down here, send an email. Now we need to map the recipient. This is coming from Google Forms. Click here, then recipient email address. And we want to navigate down to the Google Forms connection and locate respondent email. Click here, then navigate up to subject. And I'm going to type in the email subject. And the subject is new project under review. Then navigate down to body type and select collection of contents, text, images, ETC. And then add your body content. Then under content one, text, we're going to add the email body in here. Okay, so I've added this example, thank you, and new project email. Now let's personalize this email. What we're gonna do is first delete this, client name, and navigate down to the Google Forms connection and locate contact name, text answers, answers, and then click on value. And that's gonna pull in the recipient's first name. Then under project name over here, this placeholder text, we're going to delete project name and add the project name value come down and locate the value for the project name. And if we navigate down further, you'll see this placeholder text down here too. I'm going to change this to my business name. And we can take the time to add more content in here if we like, as well as map specific data from our other app connections like Google Forms. Okay, let's close out of this. Now we can also add images as well as attach files and more here. Okay, so I'm happy with this email. Let's navigate down and click on save. And just like that, we've now connected three different tools. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, I also want to connect Slack so I can update my team and let them know that there is a new project pending. So what I can do is right click, add a module, click here, and then locate Slack. Here we have Slack over here. And again, you can connect any app that you want to use for your team's communication. Okay, so here we want to select the correct module. I'm going to add send a message. And before we set up Slack, what we're going to do is drag this module over here. And again, you can drag these modules anywhere that you like. And what I'm gonna do is drag and connect this module to a router. Essentially, what we're doing with this workflow is data is moving from Google Forms to Google Sheets. And with that response, we want to send an email to the form recipient, as well as send a message to a Slack channel to update our team with the new project. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And we can also zoom in and zoom out. Okay, let's click on Slack again and go ahead and configure Slack. We first need to create a connection, click on the connection type, Slack user, my Slack user connection, and then click on save. Then once your Slack is connected, enter a channel ID or name, select from list, then click on channel type, public channel, select the public channel. I'm going to select the project channel, then add the text down here. This is the message that will be sent to the public channel. I'm going to quickly add and map the message. Okay, so I've quickly created the channel notification, the channel message. Hey team, new project, please get in touch with this client before tomorrow EOD. And then I've added all the project's details that are captured from the Google form. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Let's close out of this and navigate down to save. And just like that, we have set up our automation. We have created our first scenario and we've connected four apps. Let's navigate down and click on save and go ahead and test out this scenario. To trigger this scenario, I simply need to submit the form that I've connected. Okay, let's do that. 
Okay, so I've quickly filled out this form as a new recipient, as a potential new client with a new project. Let's come down and click on submit. And as you can see, the project has been submitted. The response has been recorded. Okay, let's jump back inside make and come down and click on run once. And you can see the response has been successful. You can click here to see the details of that operation. Okay, let's jump into each of these apps to ensure that they triggered correctly. Let's first jump into Google Sheets and you can see that the new row has been added. Okay, so we've captured this potential client's new project. Now let's jump into the recipient's email and you can see that the form submission recipient has received this email. New project under review. Thank you for submitting the project details for JK Build Consulting. You can see that this email is personalized, pulling in the data from the Google form. Okay, now let's jump into Slack and you can see under the project channel, this automation has been triggered. Hey team, new project, please get in touch with this client before tomorrow end of day. And then we have all the client's details that they submitted through the form. Now our team can get started with this project and get in touch with this client. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's jump back over to make. Okay, so now that we've successfully set up our scenario, we need to turn this automation, this scenario on. Simply navigate down here, choose the intervals. So when do you want this scenario to be triggered? Every 15 minutes? Or if you change the intervals to once a day, every day, specific days of the week, this depends on your setup. Now remember, if you select every 15 minutes, every 15 minutes, you're going to use one credit, one operation. So it might be best if you click on every day and select a time every day. Again, this just depends on your operations and how frequently you want to set up the trigger. Okay, let's click on save and then navigate down to save. However, that is everything I wanted to cover in this make.com tutorial showing you how you can connect Google Sheets with other third-party apps. As you can see, it's really straightforward to set up your own custom scenarios inside Make. And there we have it guys, that is it for this make.com tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about this video, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.